clean up the stragglers and we can proceed. I'll just leave. No! We've worked hard to reconnect this node to the network. If they destroy it, we'll be affected. We? Let me put it another way. I cannot exist without Cybervoid, and you cannot exist without me. These are just bandits loyal to the Keymaster, used by her to keep the base under control. You can expect more competent foes as we move higher up the tower. Mara killed a hundred Ghost Runners. Ninety-nine, to be precise. What of it? How am I to fight her alone? The Climbers replaced many of your parts, but there were a few they couldn't find. Mara's kill switch among them, which means she can't shut you down again. Make no mistake, this fight won't be easy, but at least it will be fair. Dharma's foundation in more than one sense. It is the lifeblood of the tower's economy. Back in the Golden Age, there were enough goods produced here to satisfy the needs of all the residents. Of course, the upper levels had certain privileges. During Mara's coup, many of the facilities were damaged. Things have been in slow decline ever since. Nowadays, the area mostly serves as warehouses or gang hideouts, and a reminder of what Dharma used to be. Which is? Home. A safe haven for the survivors of the apocalypse. You built this whole place? I conceived it, designed it, and built it. I am the architect. Your optimization has improved, but it's far from perfect. We'll need to make another stop before visiting the Keymaster. We're now moving through the sector's main factory complex. Can you hear me? Why, Jack? Right. You wouldn't know. It's a code name we used for you during the repairs. Diego said you were all jacked up when he found you and it stuck. Do you mind if I call you that? No. All set. 
I put together some gear. Once I plug in my Atma, I'll be able to monitor and key communications and keep you updated. Atma? Atma chip. The standard neural implant. You must have heard of them. Basically simplified versions of your own cortex interface. So you're going up to Dharma City? Yes. Well, first you have to get through the base, and much has changed since you've been gone. There is no law here anymore, just the Keymaster's goons, pushing everyone around and shouting orders. You didn't obey. Some of us didn't. You had visited the base often in the past. Towards the end of our time, this place became overrun with criminals. The Ghost Runners kept them at bay until Mara took over. they produce goes straight up to Dharma City. While the Keymaster and her lackeys live in luxury, we basers work our fingers to the bone our whole lives and don't see any of it. How do you survive? Some decided to fight back. My parents, their friends, Saul. They weren't afraid to speak up against Mara and remind us that things used to be different. The resistance started because some of us remember the time before the Keymaster. Why this title? Supposedly, she wanted to unlock our chain, set us free. <laughs> yeah, right. Free from the architect. Probably. Keys are nearly gone.
is only because she has another way to stop us. What way? If I could have made her mind, I would still be running things around here. Heading towards Amada Station. Getting to the elevators is gonna be tricky. Wait. What? Some of their units just changed course. They're... Coming back? Not exactly. Give me a minute. The climbers were always out of their depth, even at full force. Why you believe she can be of help is beyond me. She wants to fight. It takes more than that to be useful. Jack, I've intercepted the Key's orders. They're planning to shut down the Sector's air filters. What will that do? Toxic dust from the outside will seep inside the tower. Thousands of innocent civilians will die. The entire Fifth Sector. Which way to the filters? <sighs> Thank you.